Hey everybody, this is DM Mike, and this is the thing that I use for Dungeons & Dragons. Now this is another inspiration video for the DM uh, as you're prepping your adventure or even during the adventure, and I typically read these. This is going to be a, a couple books, or actually three books here I'm going to recommend. Usually I'll read these during a campaign, so you know, once a year I'm, I'm going through all these books. Uh, they're pretty popular books, but surprisingly not a lot of people know about them, especially maybe new DMs who are not very maybe steeped in all the lore and a lot of fantasy novels just yet. But these are the ones I'd recommend to help you come up with ideas for creatures, uh, NPCs, environments, haunting environments, dungeons, uh, you know, creating fear, all these kinds of things, right? This is just an inspiration for you to create some really cool stuff and epic set pieces, right? The first one here, this is all by Robert E. Howard. That probably gives it a lot away, right? Uh, Robert E. Howard. First one up is Solomon Kane. This is a pretty big book, all purchased on Amazon, right? This is the, uh, oh man, there's so much been written about this guy, the, the, the stories in this. But this is some great, almost kind of gothic horror kind of stuff. Great dialogue that I love to use and I'll raise from this. I'll base some characters. One of my dark elves is based on Solomon Cain. Um, just the way he talks and his religious fervor. Um, it's such, this is, this is multiple stories of Solomon Cain, right? There's comic books now. There's like an old television series of this thing. All right, so this is, Pretty popular, but you can get, this is The Savage Tales of Solomon Cain. Pretty big book. It's gonna be a great read to give you ideas. Next up is gonna be Cole, Exile of Atlantis. This is the heroic tales adventure from the father of sword and sorcery, right? This is kind of the precursor to Conan, right? And this is just as good. This is awesome. The Snake Man. Matter of fact, I was reading this during Horde of the Dragon Queen and Rise of Tiamat, and oh man, I got so many ideas about this. Some of the encounters were directly inspired in Horde of the Dragon Queen in the portion uh, chapter 3 when they go into the hatchery by the snake men that, that are found in Cole. Really, really great stuff. Not as big as Solomon Cain, but you'll get the complete works here and man, it's so good. Now the third one, I don't have a physical book just yet. It's actually on my Kindle, but it's the Tales of Conan. It's the original Tales of Conan by Robert E. Howard. And I tell you, that is also a gold mine of ideas for uh, bosses, and again, I, I look for little things, not just making an encounter or stealing powers, but I think a lot of things that stand out to me here are tone and dialogue. I love the speech of some of, some of these characters and how they conspire with one another. So a lot of the, those things they say, sometimes I'll have a little piece of paper next to me and I'll write down some of these choice words they use so I can use them, not for every character, but very specific characters, you know, to give them, you know, a little bit of personality in the campaign. So if you're interested in trying to, you know, spice up some of the dialogue for your NPCs or creating inter interesting NPCs or trying to maybe present some gothic or dark cosmic horror beyond just H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, this stuff borrows quite heavily from H.P. Lovecraft, at least in that tone and cosmic horror stuff. These are the three books for you. Go check them out. They're worth their price. I'm not sure what they're sitting at right now, but they are worth their price. I'm telling you, if you're a new DM, this is going to be an absolute goldmine for you. All right, guys, that's it. See you in the next one.